Hey guys, I figured it was about time that I did a little bit of a sketchbook toy. I'm just going to do the very beginning. This started around the end of last school year. This is stuff you're going to see today. Um, yeah, here we go. This is, um, the cover. It's gorgeous. My friend gave it to me. It's The Weeping Angel from Doctor Who. I thought you ought to see that, even though I didn't actually make that part. Um, this is the first drawing here. This is a tree, obviously. I um, was really nervous when I first started because it was the first page of a brand new book and I didn't want to screw it up. So, I just went safe route and sketched out a tree and inked it. And I was looking up at it from an angle and I don't think it translated really well onto the page because of the shading. Because I was shading it in a way that would make the branches pop out from each other instead of trying to define the shape of the actual tree. And um, I went over the, it with tape because the pencil would smear otherwise, and I do have this, like, spray that will keep it from smearing, but that only works if I don't have an ink drawing on the other side of the page, and, um, I did by the time I finished it, apparently, or else I would have used the spray. And this is our drawing. This is, um, from my, one of my favorite manga, it's called Assassination Classroom. Basically, it's this, um, creature made in the lab by the government that decided to become a teacher for a year, and if the students um, don't manage to kill him by the end of the year, he'd destroy the world. And it sounds ridiculous, because it is, and it's actually hilarious and good fun, and you should read it or watch it. And um, this is just nonsense I made up as I want. I started out with like this line here, without really knowing what I was doing, and then I was like, I'm going to draw an anime person. So I did that, and then I added a story to go with her, and it's not all that great, but just kind of, it was off the cuff, so I wasn't really planning on it. And I freehanded, so these are the same character here, but they don't look quite like the same character. Like I feel like it's mostly this line needs to be like angled more, and her hair is a little bit off, and her eyes are a little bit off. But yeah, it's kind of what happens when you just go for things. They don't always... They're not perfect. Just like me. Um, this here is the first Doctor from Doctor Who. I did that in pencil and then I painted the background because I have just like quite quite of black paint that I just have for reasons. And then I taped over that too. I feel like if I had gone back over and done pen instead of pencil it would look better. And I have an example of that much, much later in the book. But that's what I did this time. You live your life. And, um, this is a little comic thing I made. It's a pun. It's just a pun. Because she's like, oh, I keep getting ahead. And then, like, you think, oh no, she's ahead in the music from her metronome. Well, that's what I think, because that's my life in a nutshell. But no, you scroll down. Scroll down. I use the internet too much. It's destroying my brain. You go down. And there's literally just a head that she keeps just getting. It, it's a, yeah, I thought it was funny at the time. And then I spent a long time drawing it. <sighs> uh, this is nonsense that I drew when I was bored and waiting for my friend to get out of class so we could go to a knitting club together. Yep. That was fun. Um, this is a sketch of a creek down the road for me that never got inked and never will because... I didn't draw it well enough to understand the lighting when I inked it, and the lighting has since changed multiple times. And I decided there wasn't really any point with it in fighting with it, so, yeah. So one day during summer, I walked to my door, looked out the window, and I saw this, and I thought it was adorable. Because my dad had gone out to play guitar, and he had set up his chair, and his music stand, and all his music, and left his little butt cush like his cushion to sit on. And then he got up to do something, and the cat got on it, and I thought it was really cute, so I tried to sketch that. And this is, um, actually my first page in here that I really actually like. <laughs> and it's just some of my lyrics that are my favorite from my favorite band. And there's some symbolism in here that vaguely relates to what's going on up here, and really abstract, but I really like it, and I like how there's like different shapes and ideas going on, because I don't always 
do that very well whenever I go abstract. Sometimes I feel like it's just the same idea over and over again, and it's not that here, and I really like that. Yup. That's... I think that's as far as we'll get in today, though. Come back next time if you want to see more, or if you don't, and you just want to, like, leave nasty comments. I actually haven't had enough people find my YouTube channel for me to actually get nasty comments yet. So that would be a milestone, I guess. Yeah, see you later!